Hello and welcome back to the Norwich Save and it's the final episode, the season finale and the board have nothing of particular interest to criticise at this stage. Wonderful stuff. Um, they're pleased with the results, the support, the squad, the boardroom are all very, very happy. Um, Halland has hit some form, 14 goals this season. Uh, Godfrey is our best player, Jamal Lewis the most assists, Palacios the best pass completion, Halland the most player of the match awards, holding the most yellows, and Fred and Marcus Rojo, the two ex-Man United boys, on one red card each. Um, yeah, it's been, going, it's been going pretty well. We've turned it around a bit, so... I uh, can't remember, fuck, oh, so long since I like, remember what I did. But we went the whole month unbeaten. We beat Man City, we drew with Arsenal, we beat West Ham and we beat Crystal Palace. And we played Man United, Newcastle and Stoke to end the save, end the season and uh, move on to the folks in Evicta save. Which I've done a quick test of the database and it is working lovely. So that will be starting pretty damn soon. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. We're playing Man United at home, but we're going to go for our counter-attacking system, I think. Obviously, we can't play Mason Greenwood because he's going to be on loan from the parent club. We're going to be doing all three games in this episode uh, to see out the season. So let's see how it goes. Um, yes, people have pointed out to me that the kits I have are wrong. That's because what I've done is I just transported over the 2019 kit pack that I had into 2020 because it's incredibly hard to find a 2020 kit pack at the moment because of copyrights and stuff like that. There's been a bit of a, a clamp down on it. So we are playing our big team formation so we're going to try and be playing a little bit on the counter attack. So let's get into the game. This is already the lineup that I want to play. That's not a problem. So we should be okay to go. OK Go. Can you remember them as a band? They were pretty good. Um, Butland in goal. Aarons, Rojo, Holding and Lewis at the back. Godfrey, Fred and Palacios in the middle. Buendia, Campwell leading the line. Obviously Haaland. Campwell comes in from uh, pretty much being on the verge of being sold to now being cap club captain or captain for this game. Not club captain. But yes, pick up where you left off because that was very, very good. And then we will have faith. Thank you to pointing out that I can, you know, also press... Um, control A and do all the players at the same time. That's just a force of habit when I go through and do it by defence, midfield and attack. Um, uh, yeah, well, my assistant can go and deal with that. So Man United are in very good form in this, as it turns out, as in real life as well. We're playing quite well, uh, beating Tottenham and Man City. It's amazing how counter-attacking football works against teams that attack you. But when you need to break teams down and you rely on a counter-attack, it doesn't really work. But um, uh, Delafoe swings the ball in. Rob Holding gets a good header away. Lindelof's there on the rebound again, but past the post. Butland had it covered, I think. And uh, we've started not too bad. Let's demand a bit more from them, though. They're focused, which is good. They are focused. Uh, Jamal Lewis throws it into Godfrey. I am very excited about starting a long-term save on Football Manager now. That's a poor cross, and that's a good header back from Shaw to De Gea. So there has been... Uh, match engine tweaks so we should see a few little differences in the match engine now there shouldn't be so many shots from stupid angles that go straight into the side netting and there should be a bit more I think it's improved movement in the strikers I think is what they've described it as but uh, Godfrey, Palacios, Fred obviously Fred and Rojo against their former club my man, a good ball down the line Wendy is going to get there, he's got a Haaland in the middle oh he tried to cross it but it was blocked and Luke Shaw will go long and here comes a counter attack as we were just talking about in real life Martial Gets into the box. He did try. I think that was more of a cross. And uh, Butland could easily pluck it out of the air. Nothing too much to worry about. But yeah, let me know down below if you're excited for the folks in Evicta long term save. It should be a good one. We're starting from the. I think it's level 8 they play in in the English Pyramid. We've got a level 10 database. So, oh, Harry Maguire at the near post has put us one goal behind. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be taking folks in Evicta from hopefully level 8 in the lower leagues. All the way to Champions League glory. That's the plan. That is the plan. And I'm hoping we get a few Folkestonians uh, along for the ride as well. Folks, it's obviously where I'm from originally. It's my hometown. The save will be called Hometown Hero. And um, I'm I'm hoping that, yeah, we get a few people that I know from Folkestone that, that tag along and comment on the video and things like that. We'll have to wait and see. As Halland is in, great block on that. Palacios, he beats his man, shoots De Gea. What a save from David De Gea. He's an annoyingly good goalkeeper in this game. Well, he's in real life as well. Sorry, just checking my phone. Nothing going on there. Rojo beaten at the near post by Lindelof. Godfrey brings it down. There's Cantwell on the edge. Will he have a ping? Cantwell, he does. He just took a bit too long. And uh, Barrow charges down the shot. Rob Holding will keep it in play. But nothing will come of it. And, yeah, we're doing all right. The, the, the thing I've got is lower league management is always very tough to start 
And if you can get through the first season without getting sacked, you're normally okay. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm going to say I'm happy. I'm going to say I'm happy because it's only 1-0. United are a good team up there. I mean, look at this. We are pushing. We're, we're not going to get Europa League or anything, but we are pushing. Look how well we're pushing towards top seven. It's been a very good season. Jamal Lewis into Haaland. Haaland is tackled very well by wan -Bissaka. Clears it away long. Rob Holding's there. Holding goes back into Jamal Lewis. Godfrey. Just hold. Don't, don't lose it there. Well done. Into Fred. Fred looks out. Oh, good ball over the top to Cantwell. He's got the wrong side of wan -Bissaka. Lindelof comes out to reach him, but Burge will pick up the loose ball on the edge. And Man United play it around and play it away. Defeo into Wambasaka. Wambasaka comes forward with the ball. We're going to put him under a bit of pressure. Burge is still there. He goes over the top. Great ball through using the pace of Martial. Good save, Butland, to keep it out. And I think let's go. We're going to go to our home formation, which will make us a little bit more open. But we are 1 0 down. Um, it will put us a little bit more attacking. Cantwell is having a, a shocker. So he's going to, he didn't really deserve that starting spot. He was going to be replaced by Pozzo. Who was our, one of our first signings at the club. Who's come in and done very, very well out there. And Palacios isn't having a good game either. We'll bring on Drinkwater probably to replace him. So another new signing. Burge lays it back to Bruno Fernandes. So you can see we're pressuring them much more in here. But leave us, it does leave us open. This formation, as I said. De La Feo swings it in. Barrows there with a header. Clips the bar as it goes over. Not too much to worry about. Palacios off. Drinkwater on. And let's see how we get on now. Throw in. Max Ahrens into Godfrey. And Fred's got acres of space. Fred shoots. Oh, he's put it in the bottom corner. What a finish against his former club. You don't save those. A wonderful goal from Fred against his former club. And he was up for this game. De Gea was just rooted to the spot. And I will see it in the replay. But yeah, Aaron's here. The throw into Godfrey. In it goes to Fred. Completely unmarked. And he just pings it in the bottom corner. De Gea nowhere near it. 1-1. One, one. Tactical genius. Into uh, Marcus Rojo. He goes long with the ball up towards Haaland, who wins the header, but no one was running off him. Buendia was a little bit far away. De Gea plays it out to Luke Shaw. The press, we're really starting to press them. And they go over the top. Max Ahrens picks it up. Back to Jack Butland. He goes long again to the left-hand side. Pozzo can't win that, and De La Feo picks up the loose ball. It was a knockdown from him from Barrow, and Rob Holding read that well. And now Pozzo will have space to get into. It's like two counter-attacking teams against each other at the moment. Haaland... Out he goes to Jamal Lewis. De La Feo not tracking him. Jamal Lewis cuts inside, gets into the box, shoots over the bar. But not a bad little run of, uh, of well play that we're on at the moment. It's going very, very well. As they make a double sub, it's Juan Basaka and Martial off for Dembele and Tuanzebi. Which is uh, an interesting set of selection of subs. Let's look to make our third and final sub then. We'll probably, let's take off Buendia and we'll bring on uh, Jack Byrne out on that side. He's been lacking a bit of football this season. Jack Byrne, we'll, we'll give him a run. But it looks like the first game of the series, or set out of the episode, sorry, is going to be 1-1. One, one. And I am very, very happy with that. Very happy against an in-form Man United team. Fred impresses, which was good. Martinez was there looking at Ben Godfrey. Tottenham manager, Roberto Martinez. Get your head around that one. We'll be back uh, for the next game against Newcastle, which is in a week's time. We'll see you then. Okay, here we are back for the second game of the episode. And uh, not too many changes. Drinkwater replaces Godfrey because he's got uh, an illness. And Pozzo comes in um, to replace... Well, the two wingers change. Pozzo comes in to replace Campwell because of his poor performance. And Wilson comes in to replace Buendia. Both of them drop to the bench. Just a fitness thing for Buendia and Cantwell because... He's not very good. Haaland starts up front. Rojo holding Aarons, Lewis, Butland, Drinkwater, Fred and Palacios again. Um, Dubravka, Dechilio, Shah, Lascelles, Davies, Mangala, Hayden, Doan, Almiron and Angel Gomez now at Newcastle. And Joe Linton starts up front for them. So let's get into it. We are going to say we're the favourites for a reason. And then, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to just tag all of you like that. Selected players, passionately. I have faith in you. Get out there and give us a go. We'll get the assistant to do that again. Let's get into the game. And uh, the penultimate game of the whole save and the season. Um, I'm wondering now if seventh position actually does qualify for the Europa League. So we're not actually too far off it. Hayden um, into Mangala. Mangala in the pouring rain in Newcastle. We're still playing our counter-attacking formation which I think will probably actually change quite quickly Ben Davies gets in behind into Gomez lays that back Joe Linton and the shots blocked back to Gomez again and Butland picks it out of the air and straight away I'm going to change it to our more attacking formation because 
I just, it suits us better when we're playing these sort of teams. It really does. So let's get a demand more shout out there. Angel Gomez. Has he progressed very much? He has. Yeah, look, he's described as a wonder kid as well. So he has come on a little bit. But obviously in the Folks in the Victor save, there will be none of these so-called wonder kids playing for us. But we do have um, a particular favourite of mine. Yes, yes, Rojo. Two in two, Marcus Rojo. Sorry, it was Fred, wasn't it, in the last one? But he's, look, he's a tall little guy. Tall guy. But yes, Marcus Rojo. Lovely stuff. Um, uh, yeah, the folks in the Victor save. We do have fa a favourite of mine from previous saves. Johan Terhorst is at folks in the Victor at the moment. So we will be using him considerably in the folks in the Victor save. If you don't know who he is, he's a guy that moved from folks into whole city when they're in the Premier League. Never played for the senior team. Played really well for the under 23s in Hull. And then uh, it all sort of fell apart and he moved back to Folkestone and, and signed for Maidstone, I think. Um, as Palacios is there, Dubravka can't keep it out. It's 2-0 and uh, we're on our way in this game very well. But uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. I've tagged Johan Terhost a couple of times when we were doing the journeyman save. Um, I don't think we signed him for NK Zagreb, but definitely when we did the journeyman save previously. Uh, he followed us around a little bit there, which would be good. And I'm looking forward to using him in the Folks in the Victor save. If we can keep him with us as we go up the leagues as well, that would be wonderful. As, uh, oh, and obviously, if you want to sign up to be a patron or join the join the channel membership in YouTube, Pozzo over the bar, good save from Dubravka. Um, if you want to join the channel, which is a, there's a little button now below the video that says join, you can sign up to be a member. You can get your name in the game as a youngster um, or a staff member, and you can get a shout out in the videos and stuff, uh, depending on what tier membership you pick. You can join the Discord where I'm going to be setting up a Patreon and membership chat only, where you'll get a few behind the scenes folks in Invicta stuff for the save and Provo stuff and things like that. So just, just press that button or join on Patreon because the link's in the description. You can follow me on Twitter. Twitter and join the discord as well and uh, that will be all gravy so this just like this game it's going very very well uh, we'll start that second half uh, Pozzo the left the left inside uh, winger never really does well in my formations into Fred Fred does well gets a good tackle but Fred keeps it alive but Mangala does clear it just about into holding Rob holding comes forward down to Max Aarons who kept his advanced position drink water Back to Aaron's again. Takes a touch. Back to drink water. Ball goes into the back post. Pozzo's there. And I said he wasn't playing well, but he runs off doing a very slow clap celebration in front of the Norwich fans. It's 3-0. And uh, this is dreamland. Dreamland, people. I'm if, if, if we get European football, which is a possibility, let me know if you want me to do one more season and we'll do it alongside the folks in a Victor save. Um... And, we'll, I'll just, and I'll fit it into my schedule somehow. I'll fit it all in. As uh, Palacios over the top to Haaland. Erlinger, Haaland, oh, he's at the post. I mean, we are playing really, really well. We've got some good football here. And it makes me want to carry on going. Um, but uh, I'm not this time. I sort of carried it on because I was keen to do it. I do want to start the focus in the Victor save. But I'll only carry this on if you let me know. Um, what's happened? Yeah, well, of course that didn't go in. It hit the post. Um... I'll only carry this on if we get enough likes and comments on the video, um, and then we'll go from there. So it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. Delia Smith is, is absolutely delighted with me. I can tell you that right now. As uh, Jamal Lewis takes the throw and up the line to Halland. Halland lays it inside to Fred. Fred comes forward. He's got a lot of space to run into. Lays that in. Wilson. It's off the line from Debravka. He sort of was looked a little bit caught out there. Debravka in goal. So we get that that's a terrible view. That's a terrible view to do a goal line technology replay. Um, well, everyone's playing very well indeed. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Why not? Just leave it as it is. Give them a bit more praise when we can. But it's been very well. 3-0. We're only a point behind Tottenham. Last game of the season is Stoke, who aren't playing very well. But uh, do have had our, our number in recent games. So... Pozzo over the top looking for Haaland. Newcastle's high line is being absolutely ripped apart. And Erling Haaland gets his 15th goal of the season, which I think gets him a 350 grand bonus payout for scoring that goal. So well done to him. Um, and now he's got a goal. Let's make some changes. Wilson off for Greenwood. We'll bring Puki on for Haaland. Why not? We'll keep him fit for the last game of the season. And we'll do Montel for Aaron so that he doesn't get sent off. And that will be very, very nice. Now, Newcastle might score because I've taken off three highly rated players 
in the save. But uh, we have absolutely dominated them since changing formation. And 4-0 is a wonderful, wonderful win. I'm very happy with that. A lovely victory. A lovely performance. And it's a very dominant win. As uh, Fortune, Quinton Fortune, is he Newcastle's manager? Wow. Interesting. Um, Palacios has a very well good key passes in there. So we'll give him some praise. Your passing was a joy to behold, Ezekiel. Thank you very much um, for that performance there. But next up, eight days time, we'll be playing Stoke, who are 15th. Let's just go and have a quick look, because this may influence your decision if we want to carry this save on. So uh, into the rules. And yes, seventh place does go into the Europa League. It goes into the playoff. So let's see how we get on. Tottenham have got their final game of the season. They have Newcastle, who we just absolutely smashed. So let's see and maybe take that into your mindset if you want me to carry this on. Because, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. We'll be back for the game against Stoke. We'll see you then. Okay, so here we are for the final game of the season and the final game of the series, potentially. Unless we get Europe and you guys want me to carry it on. But that depends on Tottenham uh, losing or draw. If they draw and we win, then we also get a seventh spot and we'll end up in the Europa League. But uh, Jack Butland in goal. Aaron's holding Rojo and Lewis. Lundstrom comes in, signed uh, this, this, this summer, I think it was. Maybe the first summer. Lundstrom comes in. Drinkwater and Palacios. Fred is out with a tight hamstring. Wilson on the right. Pozzo on the left. And Haaland starts up front on the bench. Fred is only fit enough for the bench. He's not. He's sort of fully fit. But he literally has just come. Um, expects to play in the game against Stoke. And he's unhappy with the amount of first team football. He has been unhappy with the amount of first team football he's been playing. Say what? Say what? He's played 27 games. Interesting. Um... Palacios, Drinkwater, Wilson, yeah. And then on the bench, Thompson comes onto the bench because of the injury uh, to Godfrey and Fred, only just coming back from his tight hamstring. Burn, Campwell, Buendia, Closer, and Tim Krull. So a rare start for Lundstrom. But uh, yeah, go out there and carry on from where you left off. Let's do all this again. So selected player, passionate. There's a lot more to come. Let's go and do it. Now I'm expecting us to win. Stoke aren't the best and we're in very, very good form. But let's change this and we'll go for latest scores. And we're going to keep an eye on Tottenham and Newcastle. So we get the first corner of the game just after five minutes. Wilson swings it into the box and there's Lundstrom. Oh, it's hit. Lundstrom, he's got... I think he had a shot. It deflected off him and then went past Barkas. And on his... Potentially his first start of the season in the league, he's got his first goal. And uh, we are up into seventh position. Wilson swings it in. Lundstrom, it wasn't Lundstrom that had the shot. It was uh, Rob Holding, left-footed, had a shot. But it hit Lundstrom after hitting the defender and goes in the back of the net. Shots on target, none. But we find ourselves 1-0 up. Max Aarons into Lundstrom. Aarons picks it up again, cuts in field, lays it back to Drinkwater. Tottenham have gone 1-0 up as well. Johnny has scored for them against Newcastle, so we're back in eighth. Jamal Lewis. Oh, Lindsay gets in the way. It's all sort of just bouncing around and he clears it away. Max Ahrens will keep that in play though and he's left it behind for Molodelli to pick up. He puts that into Campbell. Campbell's free of the last man and Butland touches it around the post on his return as well against his former club. Last time we played Stoke, I think we lost 4-0. So uh, we are looking to turn it around a little bit. Jack Butland didn't have a good game. Molodelli puts it in. Sam Vokes is the header and Butland makes an easy save again. Just over 10 minutes gone. And yeah, you can see Tottenham are 1-0 up. Come on, Newcastle. Just to, even if we don't go into the Europa League, play on into the Europa League, it'd be great to say we got that qualification. Harry Wilson comes forward with it. Cuts it back. Haaland, it's a great block on the shot. Wilson, back post. Pozzo. He's put us 2-0 ahead. And that's what we want. But it's going to go to VAR, I think, for a check of offside. It's been disallowed, yeah. VAR said it was offside. So we're going to look at here, see the replay. Haaland has a shot. Oh, that's... Hang on. Oh, okay. It was actually... I thought they were giving it against Pozzo. No, good decision. Good decision, VAR. Well done. Uh, Jamal Lewis with a throw-in. He takes it short to Lundstrom. Into Palacios. Palacios into Drinkwater. Drinkwater turns his man really well. Gets into the box. Onto his right foot. And the shot is too accurate or hard for Barkas. Should do better. But we've got that second goal anyway. And uh, Danny Drinkwater gets his second goal of the season. So, well done, to him. Lundstrom here being a little bit instrumental. He's playing really well. Palacios into Drinkwater. Lovely turn here to get round his man. Into the box, round the centre-back shot, and Barkas gets a hand to it, but can't keep it out. And we make it 2-0. 
We're still reliant on Newcastle to get an equaliser, though, as that's a corner comes in. Marcus Rojo heads it away. Woods back to Muller Daly. Into Woods again. Woods dinks it to the back post. There's a header over the bar. Butland had it covered. Nothing too much to worry about as uh, we are pretty much dominating this game. Jamal Lewis with a throw it into Lundstrom again. Lundstrom again into Palacios. Can he find Drinkwater and do the exact same thing again? Drinkwater this time lays it into Pozzo. But Nyambi gets back and tackles him well. That's a bit of a poor clearance. Jamal Lewis has kept it in. Can't get to the ball first. Valinden clears it away. Max Ahrens into Palacios. Into Drinkwater. Into Pozzo. Lovely one-touch football from Norwich. Pozzo again. And it's 3-0. That's a wonderful goal we've just scored. That one-touch football. We'll see it in the replay. Sometimes when you just when you get a formation that clicks with a team, it is wonderful to see. Max Aaron's here into Palacios. In, this is a lovely ball from Danny Drinkwater. Pozzo picks it up. First shot saved. Rebound goes in on the left foot, and it's three nil. And we're still relying on Newcastle. And we're we're starting so many attacks from this throw-in situation. Jamal Lewis to Lundstrom, Lundstrom into Palacios, but this time he goes back to Lewis. Beats his man. Referee plays on. Halland gets into the box. He goes around, and Barkas makes the save. And, well, the team want to go out on a high, don't they? At home, in front of the home fans, we are putting on a show. Wilson just sort of dinks it towards the edge of the area, but it's headed away, and uh, Campbell will get there. Now, I'm going to assume that isn't Fraser Campbell. It may well be. No, T Campbell. Okay, it's not Fraser Campbell. I was going to say, that would be a concern. If you're a Stoke player and you had Fraser Campbell leading your line in, like, 2021, you would not be happy. Palacios, drink water. Ball over the top. Halland makes a good run. A great first touch to bring it down. And it's a lovely save again from Barkas. Probably deserved a finish. But we are playing some scintillating football right now. If you're a Norwich fan, you'd be loving this. Leave it down in the comments how much you're enjoying this football that we're playing. It's scintillating. Quick passing football. Wilson into Pozzo. Back to Wilson. Gets to the byline. Tries to square it. Wins another corner. No. Double deflection. So it's gone out for a goal kick. And uh, Barkas goes long. Into Wilson. As I said, the folks in the Victor save will be going into a lot more detail about how I make tactics and things like that. Um, so hopefully you can, you guys can either like learn or tell me where I'm wrong or things that we can tweak to be different. But yeah, at the moment I've got it down with the Norwich team and this, the two formations we've got. Wilson on the right wing lays it back into Lundstrom. Lundstrom lays it back once more. It's a long ball out to Rojo. Rojo picks it up into Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis will he swing across and he tries. It will fall. Well, nearly fell to Palacios. Who blocks Vokes' clearance. Drinkwater picks it up. Lays it into Wilson. We're just keeping the ball so well. Good ball out from Lundstrom to Jamal Lewis. Ball in. Drinkwater. Oh, he was just beaten in the air. Max Ahrens brings it down. He's going to have a shot. Surely he does. Left-footed. He floats it into the top corner for his first goal of the season. On the last game of the season. And it's 4-0. This is ridiculously good. Jamal Lewis picked up a wonderful ball from Lundstrom. It was a good header away from me. Moldelli. We gave it to Aaron's. Aaron's got it. And then you're thinking left foot, right back, left footed. Don't shoot that. And he does. Top corner. 4 0. What a performance on the la What a last episode this is to end on. A 1 1 draw with Man United. A thrashing of Newcastle. And what looks like it's going to be a thrashing of Stoke City as well. As Jamal Lewis pumps that one forward. And Pozzo's going to get on the end of it. Is it over in this first half? Woods heads it away. Lundstrom will pick it up. Who started the goal scoring off? Aaron's into drink water. Drinkwater, he's still going. He shoots. Oh, just over the bar. We are we are on fire. Newcastle are still losing. Carrie Kane has missed the penalty. Hopefully that will uh, lift Newcastle a little bit, but you just never know. It's going to be one point. One point in it, I guess. Unless, what if someone wins the FA Cup, do we then go into it? Or if one some team wins Europe, do we then get the spot? I can't remember. We may have to keep this... We have to just accelerate forward to try and find that piece of news once it happens. But uh, drink water into Palacios. Over the top into Haaland. He's got the pace. He's on his left foot. It's a good save again from Barkas. As uh, Sheffield wins there. Smashing Watford 3-0. Um, in another game happening on the final day of the season. Wilson to the back post. Rob Holding. Oh, straight at Barkas. Any, either side of him. Either side of him. And that's a goal. This is still 1-0 Tottenham. And uh, we're, we're playing 2-0 Tottenham. Harry Kane has scored. Surely that's us. Out of your, I, again, I still might carry this game on just as a personal. I'd, if I'm going to carry it on as a personal save, I might as well put it on YouTube, to be honest, might I? Because it's good fun. Lindsay over the top to uh, Campbell, who isn't Fraser Campbell. And Butland makes a great one-handed save in that. And if we can keep a clean sheet as well for the end of the season, that would be delightful. Corner, though. Molo Daly. It's a corner to Stoke. He swings it in, and there's a header, and Campbell should do better. 
should do better from that position and he's headed it over from close range and uh, let's do um, oh yeah Greenwood's injured he picked up a, no he's away on international duty I was going to say let's bring on a striker but we don't have one on the bench so we'll leave Haaland we'll leave Haaland up there we're just going to hopefully let these guys see out this game see out the season may bring on Jack Byrne for a little game little run out Lewis up it goes to Pozzo Pozzo is fouled referee get, get him off second yellow give him the red he's off he's going to make Stokes job even harder so we're now we are going to make some subs now we'll do uh, Harry Wilson off for Byrne Fred can come on uh, for Lundstrom and we'll put drink water back down there and we'll do Tim Closer hasn't played much this season so he can come on for Marcus Rojo who's on a yellow card and more than likely would get himself sent off so we'll make those sensible changes Burn back to Aaron's Aaron's comes forward with it goes around his man really easily gets across in back post Pozzo's there five it's five nil what a way to end the season it's, it's the fans are delirious they're in dreamland what a performance it's been absolutely ridiculous Aaron's into Burn. Burn back to Aaron's and he just skip look how easily he skips around this tackle and then Pozzo isn't tracked back post runner right footed volley 5-0, thank you very much. And it looks like Newcastle are down and out, not getting back into it. They need two goals in the last 10 minutes, which I don't think are going to come. As uh, Aaron's throws us in, Burn. Fouled by Elioski, I think it's outside the area. It's a penalty. It's been given as a penalty, and Pozzo for the hat-trick sticks it in the bottom corner. Oh, my word. 6-0, he gets his eighth goal of the season for a man that really started out of the team this year. And was struggling to get into it. He's come alive in this second half. Sticks the corner. Second half of the season. He sticks the corner into the bottom corner. And um, yeah, it's Tottenham are 3 0 up. So we're definitely not getting European football unless something happens above us in terms of other, other teams. But a very, very good performance. I'm very pleased with that. End that team talk. On we go. Oh, wow, I've got unbeatable and thumping uh, are the two things I've just unlocked. And going down, Sheffield Wednesday in Newcastle and Aston Villa. Cardiff hang on by three points. We miss out on Europe by a point. Liverpool smash the league. Man United second, but a point above Man City. Arsenal and Chelsea joint on 70 points, but Arsenal win on better goal difference. Wolves get sixth spot and Tottenham get into the Europa League playoff. And uh, that was very, very nice. Pozzo. Uh, superb in front of goal, my friend. Superb. We get 25.1 million. We only pay 825k. Oh, my word. Finances are going to be looking wonderful. Let's see. I wonder how much money we're going to get next year in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, finances and stuff. So, Liverpool, are you still in... Uh, the Champions League or anything. You're in the FA Cup final against Arsenal. So both of those teams have already qualified for Europe. So we may, may get into Europe anyway. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll, we'll play it through and we'll see what we'll see what's going to happen. I don't know the rules well enough for this bit. Board set number 52 million to spend, 1.5 million on wages. If we do carry the save on, that is going to be lovely. And we get loads of people in Team of the Week, which is good. Um, yeah, that would be very, very nice to spend. £52 million. Pounds. And, well, let's just wait and see. The Cup Final can't be too far away. End of season awards then. Um, ben Godfrey, Young Player of the Year. Ezekiel Palacios, Signing of the Season. He also got Goal of the Season. Ben Godfrey, Player of the Season. Then Halland, And then Palacios. Uh, season Review. We're capable of avoiding relegation. Competitions feel good stories. Defying expectations, finishing 8th, which was good. Match of the season, beating Man United 3-1 and losing. Um, I can't even see the score. 4-0. We lost to Liverpool was our moment to forget. 97% full Carrow Road. Um, we used the fourth, fourth highest amount of players. Cup runs were crap, but we've done very, very well. Um, yeah, so they're looking now to sell the club. So we will just accept that current vision. Squad dynamics is all good. Burton issues, yeah. End of season break. Norwich training camp. We'll go to... Let's go money. Oh, let's go Singapore. That's where I live. Let's go to Singapore. Tim Kroll to study for his coaching license as well. And uh, I think we'll just play through. It'll be this weekend, I imagine, the cup final. Halland, 15 goals is a new record. And Butland sets a new amount of clean sheets, which is good. And uh, we can now get rid of uh, filters unavailable because everyone's on holiday. Um, Harry Wilson was very good on loan from us there. I really enjoyed having him. 
on loan. I just wanted to look at when is it? Yeah, 22nd. So tomorrow. Yeah, so we don't have too long to wait to find out what the hell's going on. And it's saving the game. So we'll just let the game save and uh, we'll go through this. But thank you so much for watching this whole season, the whole thing with Norwich. It's been great as a little introduction into Football Manager 2020. I am happy to keep it on if people want me to, um, to keep it going. I'm really, really enjoying it. I very rarely keep big club saves going, but it has been very, very enjoyable as uh, yeah, all these people return to training. Let's go and see what happens in the cup final. Liverpool win it. And there's no mention of us now going into Europe but I'm not entirely sure we'll also wait for the Champions League and Europa Leagues to finish um, uh, so well Liverpool were in the Champions League so let's go and have a look at them continental competitions none at the moment um, schedule senior schedule Champions Cup uh, final is Man United so I, I don't, I'm, if Man United win, I think position drops down. Um, Tottenham outline intentions for Haaland. Okay, well, there's no way he's leaving. You can look elsewhere. Um, question. Inter um, yep, he's worked hard. We get, we get a tax bill. Shareholders get 2.4 million. Estimated turnover is 196. Wonderful. Uh, but we've gone down in sponsorship. That doesn't make sense. Palacios, Wilson, Buendia, Haaland and Fred... All being the biggest sellers in shirts. It'll be a longer episode, this. It was always going to be. It's the end of the season, and we're doing three games. Um, and now I'm just desperate to find out what is going to happen with the Champions League. I just want to make sure that you guys get all your knowledge, and if you want us to uh, go and carry this on, as I said, I'm more than happy to. I may do it in my personal time anyway and go and play. I may just carry it on anyway because it's been really good fun, and I, I would love to win the league with Norwich. How crazy would that be? But, um, yeah, we've been going all right. Who was it? It was Man United. See, they're already in the Champions League. So, when, 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 when? When, when, when? 29th. So, five days time. Okay, well, we'll come back for that and I'll let you know. So, as we get close to the date, we're on the 28th and the game is tomorrow. Um, I'm aware there's probably people, there's probably plenty of you watching, screaming at this TV and the, and the screen and stuff, going, no, Dave, it doesn't work like that. You're not going to get into Europe. Just stop doing this. But I need to make sure. I do need to make sure. Um, because it's, I think it's a, it's a very interesting turnout for the books, isn't it? So, um, do, 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 do. Haaland has been, all, yeah, Good, too right. He should be in the team. He's been on absolutely amazing form. Looks like Harry Maguire is going to miss the Champions League final for Man United, which will be a big blow, a really big blow to them. And here we go. It's happening now. The game has happened. Extra time heartache for Man United at St. Petersburg. Ah, so it looks like Man United didn't win, which either way then means that we don't qualify for Europe. Ah, that's a shame. 50%. Oh, that's, that is a shame. That is a shame. Um, it would have been good to definitely get that European qualification. But we'll have to wait and see. We're going to the inbox then. Um, Pope accepts Norwich offer. Great, great. I've got Zlatko Zahovic doing all of that. But I think then we will end it there as we tick into June. Um, and we definitely would have been awarded a place in Europe by now if we were going to get it. And we haven't, which is very, very annoying. But uh, oh, can we poach... I've been after Jack Grealish in this save for bloody ages. And now they've been relegated. I'll give you 27.5 million. Oh, that is so much lower than what they wanted before. I don't even know if I'm going to carry this save on. But let's have a look. Let's see if we can get him for 30 million. There we go. Done. Done. Jack Grealish. Love to get a bit of Jack Grealish in. But there we go. We'll end it on that. Thank you so much for watching. Please do let me know if you want to carry this season on or join us just do it on Twitter and give you updates like that. But uh, it's been really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like for the, the season ending and um, how we ended the season. It was incredibly good. But thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.